So now let us see another important topic of electricity that is all about the materials that are used to conduct the electricity. So the materials that can conduct the electricity that means that allow the electricity to pass or flow through them those are conductors. If any material if it is allowing the electricity to pass through it, it is a conductor. If a material it is not allowing the electricity to pass through it, it is an insulator. There are advantages of both the materials. Okay? So, in electricity, in electrical appliances, in the applications of electricity, both materials are important. Conductors are important as well as insulators are also important. Now let us see what is a conductor, what is a non-conductor with the help of a simple activity. Here we have a setup of a cell and a battery. You know that this is a closed circuit, but here you see that between the two pins there is nothing connecting. The bottom one is a wooden block. Okay, anyway, I will remove this part also for more clarity. Now you see here we have some two pins. So now you see the circuit is broken, it is not closed circuit, so there is no flow of electric charges, right. So here we are given some items, to complete this circuit, so by that the electricity it flows, right. So this is open circuit, if you keep something here and close the circuit then the electricity should flow. Now. I took the key, I kept the key over here, key, you know the key, I kept a key. So the key is touching both the pins, now the bulb glows, the circuit is complete. The electricity it flows through the key, the charge which is, which is coming from here through this wire it is flowing through the key. So, key is a conductor, it is conducting the electricity. Now, the second one we take the eraser. So, you kept the eraser here. So, then that bulb does not glow, it does not allow the electricity to pass through it. So, eraser is not a conductor. Matchstick, if you keep matchstick, check it out. No. Keep a glass bangle. A piece of glass bangle, no. If you keep iron nail, yes. So why all this is happening? Because key is made out of metal, eraser is made up of rubber, matchstick is made up of wood, glass bangle is made up of glass, iron nail is made up of metal, iron. So, only here the test is passed by the metals, that means metals are good conductors of electricity. What are not good conductors, what are not the conductors, rubber, wood, glass. So, these are called as insulators, the materials that do not conduct the electricity, that do not allow the electric charge to pass through them are called insulators. The materials that allow the electric charge to pass through them are conductors. So, hope you find the difference between a conductor and an insulator. Here you are given only 5 materials, but you will be finding so many things in your home. You can use your, you can take your pencil, you can take the comb, you can bring so many items, some 20 items. So, you make this circuit at home and check with each and every material which is a conductor and which is a non-conductor. But by su surprising you, finally you will get the fact that only the metals they conduct the electricity. Rubber, wood, glass, plastic, if you use a comb, the one which you use to comb your hair, if you place the comb, it does not, that is made up of plastic. So, these materials they do not conduct the electricity, those are insulators, right. So, this is all about the electric conductors and insulators. So, we have seen what are conductors and what are insulators. Now, let us see some of the applications of conductors and insulators. I already told you that 
both of them conductors as well as insulators they have their own advantages in the field of electricity in the application of electricity conductors they are used to make electric wires that is to conduct the electricity and electric by electronic components and heating devices so electric devices heating devices electronic components electronic and electrical components wire electrical wire the wire which conduct the electricity so when a building is constructed a wiring is done so by that the switches lights fans everything are fixed there so for that wiring we use a better conductor but here if a conductor is used to make the things the electricity may get exposed and somebody if they put their hand they may get electric shock see here this is an copper wire so the copper wire is used to connect two points that is this is the source and this is the device so if the copper wire is not having any cover suppose accidentally somebody touches it or if it comes in contact with another wire there is a chance of short circuit there is a chance of electric shock so the wires that we use in our house they are all insulated so this copper wire will be covered by some insulating material so that is the application of insulators so what are the insulators the major insulator is plastic so plastic is used extensively as an insulator and some places ceramic is used ceramic or glass is used sometimes the electricians when they are working out they wear the rubber gloves rubber gloves rubber is an insulator it prevents the shock so rubber so these are the applications of conductors and insulators if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus